Hello and welcome back to Come Geeksum. If you are new here, please like and subscribe for future content. Well, it wasn't long before this little spat that all these ugly Kick Vic people are doing that that umbrella guy has now actually become quite a fair to a couple of websites have now started reporting on it. We're going to start with one angry gamer. Well, not start, but we're going to be with him. And he has probably wrote out exactly what everyone is thinking, and what I say, what I've said, and a few other people. And just the way he's gone about it is absolutely brilliant. So I will say, I will uh, put a, a couple of links down below. One for actual That Umbrella Guy's Indiegogo page. So if you know, go and help him out, please. You know, so we can get there. And obviously, I'll leave a link for it as well. And obviously, I'll leave a link for One Angry Gamer. So, that Umbrella Guy's comic book, Indiegogo, comes under fire from Comic Industry SJWs. So, obviously, what we've been going on about... Um, obviously, that Umbrella Guy, he's uh, created a comic he's trying to get for funded on Indiegogo. And it kind of got in the way, or it kind of irked, I should say, probably the best word... Some of actual comic book industry professionals, and also Renfamous. I think it actually got on their nerves mostly because that Umbrella Guy's uh, comic book he quickly managed to surpass the actual Kickstarter project, which is from the industry pros, which Renfamous is actually a part of, which I think is brilliant. It's you know say. Fourteen thousand dollars of his twenty-five thousand goal at the time of the writing is what Rent for Mrs. Comic has received, and well, that umbrella guy it got way, way past that. Literally, I think it was like in the first couple of hours of it being up. It's currently, you know, it was uh, the fixed goal. To, and I will be going in pounds, so in UK uh, money. Cause that's what's coming on my screen. Uh, the fixed goal for. Uh, the case of the littlest umbrella was seven thousand six hundred and forty-eight pound, which works out to ten grand in America, and so far it's hit twenty thousand pound in the UK. So it's two hundred and seventy percent way above his actual goal, which again that uh, irked some of the other people because they were thinking, well, how come someone who's not in the industry get their comic funded quicker than us? It shouldn't happen. That's exactly what they've done. And that's where this battle has kind of happened. So, the, um, the original shots were first fired at that Umbrella Guy, who then responded in kind, which proceeded to devolve the situation to an online slap fight. This eventually resulted in industry professionals like Mark Lombardi. Oh, he's, a, he's an industry professional, and that's how he's acting. That is disgusting. He actually wrote a couple of outlines for a couple of books, and obviously Renfamous... She got involved, and then they all started mocking that umbrella guy for being a father, which is absolutely damn right disgusting of them. And it just it's just vile, you know? Why would you do that? Why would you attack someone for being a father? It's so bad. It's absolutely disgusting. I, I will admit that. I absolutely hate it. But then even when you got someone on the kick Vic signed... Shane Holmberg, even when he has said, you don't bring kids into it, leave the kids alone. But then you got Dominique Sky, whose child was supposedly doxxed as well, coming from her. She's saying it's absolutely fine. We went over that in the previous video, and that is absolutely disgusting as well of her. These are just horrible, horrible human beings. Obviously, we went through the, what Yellow Flash has said with Renfamous, that her and her friends were in a Google Hangout, and they were plotting to take him down. But... One of the best things of all of this is, this is coming from Rising of the Shield Hero. He's uh, he's taken what Chrissy has said, which was, that's not Ren's MO, honestly. And he's come with, why are you lying? Admittedly, this is a no five-step tactical takedown, but trying to deplatform is her MO. Here's a screenshot of her fear-munging IgG into taking down your boy Zax. And what all this is about is... Quite a few years ago, Renfamous, she's actually said herself that uh, she tried taking down quite a few people. And this is the kind of tactic she used. So, 
Renfrew has said there's the note there there aren't there because it never happened. It's a lie YF and Tug came up with to market his Indiegogo campaign. Luke, that's a real cool hand, went back with. It must make you feel good that no one among your friends or foe would put such ugly behaviour past you though. I mean you made it your job. I mean those tactics Yellow Flash described are pretty much the playbook you described from your days as a political operative, aren't they? And what he's referring to is Renfamous in July 20th, 2018, which was part of a thread discussing how to or not how to engage with Comics Gate supporters. She said this. When I worked for the Republican Party, my job was literally to bait people until they got angry enough to make a scene and draw attention to me and my message. The methods they use are really easy to recognise once you know what to look for. Probably write it up this weekend. So she even admitted to it last year that this is exactly what she does to people. Her and her friends, or if you can call them her friends that is, this is what they do. They like taking down the little person who is having more success than them because they're jealous and it wouldn't surprise me if they're actually fearful that their comic is not going to go off as well as the Umbrella Guy. But when you have these supposed professionals getting involved, when you got Joe Casada, one of the lead guys at Marvel, you know, and he's done a lot of stuff, you know, he, when I was younger, some of his stories I actually really liked. They were some of my favourite stories. But now seeing what he does and who he represents and who he actually believes in, well, Joe Casada has lost quite a few uh, people, I must say, now. And it's absolutely, it's mind-blowingly how bad these people are acting, you know? But Renfamous, Mark Labardi, or the others who are being uh, this way towards that umbrella guy, they are actually a part of an hangout group as well on Google. So, with this, and obviously with the way she's actually said that she used to organise harassment campaigns, and this is exactly what she done when she works for the Republican Ar uh, Party. Why did I say Republican Army then? But, um, yeah, if this is what she wants, and obviously if she's saying that, well, say, what was it as well? She actually done ones that she was saying about gays and everything else and how they should be uh, taken away. But then she's also had ones where she's sticking up for him. So she is a hypocrite. She's one of the world's biggest hypocrites. And it just cracks me up that when you see people like this, who, by the way, yeah, again, said it last time, they probably haven't got a job. They probably just stay on Twitter all day waiting for people to come back so they can attack them again. It's not right. And we, you know, when they, they all tried saying that they're going to bring child protection services into it, that's that's the lowest of the low. You don't go that way. If you're going to start doing that, that's basically bringing a knife to a gunfight. Because that is absolutely horrible. Why would you do that to someone as well? You don't even know this person, what he's like in real life. You don't even know, you know... And everyone who's stuck up for that umbrella guy, they all say that his daughter is brilliant and, you know, she's well looked after and everything. But when you come out and say, basically, we're going to get your daughter, you are nothing but a bunch of sickos. You're horrible, horrible human beings. You don't even deserve to be called human beings. You are the lowest of the low and you're nothing but a bunch of scummy assholes. That's exactly what you are. But again, you're getting all the attention. But then again, no, we're making videos on you for being what you're like and we're monetizing you. So that's the end of it, I think. If you are new to the channel, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell for future updates and we'll see you soon.